Hotep Aries, welcome to your storms of passion love reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot. Now Aries, this here is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if it resonates with you, go ahead, hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos, Aries. Now, if it don't resonate with you, don't you even worry about that. Because, you know, I'm going to get you on the next one that I do for you. All right? Yeah. I'm going to get you. I got you, man. I got you. All right. Here we go. I got this whole tarot spread out for you because I bought the light sears, right? <laughs> I had to get the light sears, man. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get the light sears. All right. So, Aries, this deck is the complete awesome the ultimate. I don't even know if I'm going to stop reading what this deck because it just gives me a lot of info. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this bad boy. Aries. The first column you have the knight, or is this the page? The page of wands. Judgment, the knight of wands, and the uh, eight of cups. <sighs> well, yeah, this tells me, Aries, that, you know, there's going to be somebody. It could be a... Uh, Aries, like you, Leo, Sagittarius, that is going to be communicating with you. They're going to be sending you uh, a message here, Aries. All right? Now, this is the page of wands, which means that uh, the pages are uh, ch like children. Like, you know, somebody who is younger than you. Somebody who is younger than you that you're dealing with is going to be sending you a message, a very passionate one. All right? This person you felt need to go ahead and walk away from. Because with the judgment here in the Eight of Cups, you walked away from this person. And the reason why you walked away from this person is because of the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is somebody who is just in and out your daggone life, Aries. And you know, you just ain't got time for no fucking body coming in and out of your life like that. So you just went ahead and walked away. Like if a person is going to be in with you, Aries, then they need to be in. Or if they're going to be out with you, peace. All right, go ahead about your business. Run along and do whatever the you're trying to do. What are you wasting my time for, right? Okay, so that's your judgment right here. That's your judgment right here. So, all right, the second column, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the uh, Six of uh, Swords here. Okay, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, here we go. Boom. They're going to come at you. With flowers and an apology. Oh, they're going to feel real bad with the Knight of Cups. They're going to come at you feeling real bad and real regretful about what they did. Like, they're just going to say, I'm sorry. They're just going to say, I'm sorry. All right? And they think that this seed that they plant with you with the Seven of Pentacles is going to grow. They think they're going to be able to go ahead and work their magic and this seed is going to produce something, all right? Okay, okay. Now, Aries, I don't think that's going down, baby, because look here. <laughs> you got the uh, Six of Swords, and that means moving away. You just going to be moving away. Like, like, look, again, like, you want to give this person the opportunity to speak to you. And to go ahead and, and, to, and to state their case and to why the hell they feel the need to be so in and out of your daggone life. You're going to give them the opportunity to, to, to speak their case, okay, Aries? Because you're, you're, you're reasonable like that. You know what I'm saying? You're reasonable. You go ahead and let this person explain themselves to you. Yeah, absolutely. But after they do that, baby, yeah, you're going to be in uh, Six of Swords like, listen, look, I love you. I do. I love you. I love you to fucking bits, all right? I am in love with you, as a matter of fact. But I just ain't got this to do. <laughs> I just ain't got this to do. I can't keep letting you in and out of my life, you know, bringing the wand into my life, being all passionate with me, all in the bedroom, all in the living room, all in the kitchen, taking showers with me in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Doing all types of love making with me, giving it to me, laying down the pipe real good, okay? Uh, I can't let you keep coming into my daggone life doing that and just going ahead and walking away, all right? And running back out. So, 
leaving me out in the cold with the five of pentacles I'm just going to go ahead and leave you out in the cold I'm just going to go ahead and they, that's that's how they're going to feel uh Capricorn Virgo Taurus all right that's how they're going to feel Aries with the uh, Knight of uh, Pentacles, you are slowly walking away. Because this is not an easy task for you. It's that, look, you got the Eight of uh, Cups here, the Six of Swords here, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right? Now, this could be saying, Aries, that because this person is going to be looking like this, because this person is going to be all upset and just feeling like, oh, my goodness, please don't. Please, just, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance, Aries. You know, just give me one more fucking shot. Please, don't leave. That may slow you down. That may slow you down with the, with the Knight of Pentacles. You may still be leaving, but it's going to look like you are staying, <laughs> Aries, all right? It's going to look like you're staying with this person. And that's going to bring them some type of satisfaction, However, with the knight of, with the knight of uh, cups here, they're going to get some uh, emotional satisfaction, some uh, spiritual satisfaction, some physical satisfaction from being with you because you're an Aries and you know exactly what to do when it comes down to something like that. When it comes down to, to making love to a person's heart and their mind and their body, you know how to do that, Aries, because you are an Aries and that's one of the reasons why you got your pick of people out here. All right. Now, here we go with the death card, death or rebirth, Aries. Baby, I say death. I say death. Now, the reason I say death is because you got the Hierophant here and you got the steps walking up towards uh, that light up there, which is your Ten of Cups, your happiness. All right? I say it's going to be a death, but it could be a rebirth. And you walking back up to the steps of this person and you are, you know, going to be in love with this person because it's two people, two people right here. These two people could represent your feminine and your masculine aspect of self that you are just going to be dealing with and just being happy with you. So it might be a death instead of a rebirth, but it can go both ways, Aries. It can go both ways. Absolutely. But the steps is, mo is moving you up to your own happiness, whichever way this goes. And I feel that it's death because the Knight of Pentacles is moving, but just is moving slowly, very slowly, like I said. And this person is going to, you know, feel that you're going to stay with them, but they're going to slowly feel you slipping away, slowly, because, you know, they, they are who they are. They are who they are. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, what we got here we got the uh we, what, what we got all the signs here <laughs> uh leo aries sagittarius capricorn virgo taurus all right so you got everybody here aries now they're going to feel you slipping away and you ain't going to have no choice but to slip away all right so this could be going upwards where you're going to walk away slowly you're going to feel like heartbroken that you have to do it you're going to feel sad and heartbroken and you just are not going to be happy that you have to go ahead and walk away. You're not going to be happy. But once you do that, Aries, then you are walking towards your own happiness. You walk, you're listening to your inner Hierophant, which is going to make you happy, all right? Because the Ten of Cups is, is the ultimate happiness. You will find somebody who you can be in a relationship with. Who you can lay down some roots with, have children, and everything like that. You see the children back here? Yeah. You are going to be able to find somebody like that, Aries. So you you just going to have to listen to your, your higher self. You have to listen to your ancestors. Listen to... You know, that voice inside you, that feeling inside you that's telling you to go, Aries. Even if this person comes back crying and sad and, and apologetic and want to plant a seed of love and they promise that they will not be in and out of your life. But they are who the f they are. If they're a person who just like that, that just got to go off to themselves, then they just a person who is like that. They got to go off to themselves. However... 
You know, and there's nothing wrong with going off to yourself. However, when this person is just continually like that, all right, you know, it's like always doing that, always doing that. You just always need this moment to themselves. And this person needs to go ahead and be to themselves. They don't need to be dealing with you, Aries, because you need somebody who is going to be attentive to your needs, be there for you, be making all kind of passionate love to you, be having that emotional tie, that emotional investment with you, Aries. And that's what you need. And that's what we all need, Aries. And so there's nothing wrong with you walking away from this person. Ain't a damn thing wrong with that, all right? And walking towards your own happiness? Hell, hell no. Here's the Moonology cards. This person don't make you happy. If they don't make you happy, then hey, baby, go towards your own happiness. Go towards, go up them daggone steps of your own uh, high state of being. Your own high state and happy state of being where you are manifesting uh, happiness, manifesting that emotional connection that you need and that passionate one. Somebody who's going to make you feel wanted, Aries, because that's what you need. You, you really need that. The fire signs really need somebody who's going to make them feel uh, wanted in a sexual manner. They're going to have to, you know, really make them feel like uh, they have to be under them all the time and wanting to make love to them all the time. You know, that's what a fire sign needs. And that's also what, well, a lot of other people need that too. But since I'm talking about you, Aries, I'm just going to keep it on you. You need that. You need a person to make you feel desirable and sexy and hot and wanting to, you know, fuck your brains out. That's what you need, Aries. That's what you need. Hey, that's what you need. Or you need somebody that's going to make you feel that you want to fuck their brains out. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> and that's just the way it is, Aries. You know, hey, you're an adult. We are adults here. We are adults here. We're not, there's not no little children on the uh, Cosmic Divine Terror. All right? We're all adults here. And we know what is needed to make a relationship last and not somebody coming in and out of our lives making us feel like it's because they fucked us pretty good that that we don't need the emotional tie to that we don't need the emotional commitment to that we don't need the conversation to that we don't need these things to okay let me go ahead and cut the deck let me go ahead and cut the deck aries all right what other messages do we have for the aries sun moon rising venus all right, all right. Oh, I thought another card came out. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back, Aries. All right? So when this Ten of Cups steps on the scene, don't let your past hold you back. Or this could be saying, Aries, don't let your past with this person hold you back from giving them another chance and returning back in love with this person all right like i said we got all the signs out here everybody's on the board to be saying that too aries if some of y'all are going to allow this person to come back into your life and to just keep doing the same ish the same you're just gonna keep the cycle going just gonna keep the cycle going now what other messages do we have for the aries have two of them came out all right first one You are very close to achieving your goal. This is the gib the gibbous gibbous moon. <laughs> the gibbous moon probably. Okay. So you are very close to achieving your goal of having that type of relationship that you want or walking away from this person and getting that relationship that you want, okay? Both ways, baby. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So, Aries, you could be dealing with the Pisces. There's just a lot of water out here. Okay? So, yeah. You are going to have to meditate and contemplate and raise your vibration. All right? Because that's what the hermit is doing. He's in meditation zone. He's realizing some things. Look at his face. Like, he's smiling. He's happy. Because he's realizing some things very important in his life that's actually going to make him happy. That he's going to have to put an end to a bunch of... To a bunch of shit going on, okay? He just gonna put an end to it, all right? He just uh, listen, <laughs> listen. Yes, I love you, but 
I have to love me too. Like I'm just supposed to what? Just go ahead and not love myself because I love you? That's bull. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> Aries, love oracle cards number three. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I know you ain't got time for that, Aries. I know you ain't got time for that. Shoot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Trying to find some type of happiness and contentment with people who just hold it in. Hold it in, Aries. They just hold it in, don't they? <laughs> they, they, act like, they act like, I don't know. Because when you get with an Aries, it's like, man, y'all energy. <laughs> the Aries energy is like addictive, man. It's addictive, the Aries energy. It's like when you are dealing with one, you think that everybody wants one. Everybody wants one. And that may be the reason why this person was in and out of your life. Because they feel that everybody wants you, Aries. They feel that they don't, that, that, that you're not going to be somebody who stays with them. And that was just dumb as hell of them, really. I mean, if Aries needed you to be with them because the Aries was trying to be with you, then what the hell would you look like being in and out of a person's life and expect them not to leave your ass? And if that's for the cross watcher, then you you know you 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 made your own bed, baby. You made your own bed. Like I said, we got all the signs out here. You made your own bed with this Aries. And it's like, you know, the Aries is walking away trying to get some type of happy relationship going on. Just because an Aries' uh, attitude or energy is so addictive and so powerful doesn't mean that they didn't want you and be with you and just you. All right? You let your own fear, you let your own uh, trust issues uh, dictate to you to be in and out of Aries' life. And now you coming back thinking that if you give Aries flowers and plant the seed of hope and love, that Aries is not going to leave you again. But Aries has already made up their mind to do so. Those Aries that resonated with making up their mind to do so. However, if they stay with you, and you continue to do this type of energy, leaving them out in the cold, making them feel unloved and unwanted, then yeah, they're going to walk away. So it's, it's up to you, cross-watching. Anybody who's cross-watching, it's up to you, all right? Here we go. Worthiness. That's how you have to feel. Because I'm talking to the cross-watcher right now. So worthiness came out. It said, know your worth. The universe can only bring you what you know you deserve. You can have it all. You can have everything. You can have your Pisces. You can have everything that you want. I mean, your Aries. You can have everything that you want. Aries, you may be dealing with a Pisces. Or the cross watcher that I'm talking to may be a Pisces. Alright? Here we go. What other messages do we have for the Aries? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Alright? Deal breakers. Yeah, because if you don't know your worthiness, then that's a deal breaker with an Aries, all right? An Aries like somebody who is like, you know, they know their self-worth. You know, you're going to have to be cocky with an Aries. You're going to have to, like, make that Aries feel that you're the best thing walking out here on this street. And that they ain't going to ever find anything better than you. That's how you're going to have to talk to your Aries and be with your Aries. Cross-watcher. Now, deal breakers. List and adhere to the deal breakers. The universe will support you stand true to you. All right. Aries, that's also talking to you. That this person, they keep withdrawing. Hey, they keep leaving you. That's a deal breaker, man. You 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 know your worth. <laughs> Aries, you know your worth, man. You know daggone well you know your worth. Now here's one date. Mm. So, Aries, you're going to give them one chance. Like I said, you're going to let them talk. One date. Give it at least one date. It takes time to know someone. Take a chance. Switch up your type, okay? Yeah. Well, Aries, shoot. That's that. Switch up your type. <laughs> Man, so what, Aries, you're going to have to switch up your type of, you know, somebody who makes you feel like you sexy and wanted and, and want an emotional connection with you, right? You're going to have to switch it up to what type of person then? Switch up your type to who? Somebody who ain't going to make you feel like that? Ooh, Aries, I don't know, man. Check this out. Check this out, Aries. Hey, if that's what you want. 
then that's what you're going to have to give, Aries. You're going to have to make this person feel that way too, Aries. You know, you can't expect them to be all into you and they're not all. And you're not all into them. Could be saying that. However, I don't see an Aries not making nobody feel good and, and wanted. And <laughs> I don't see that, you know, missing you. Yeah. So give it at least one chance because this person is missing you. The cross watcher, they missing you. They sad and lonely and alone. This physical separation is not good. Let go and move on thinking of each other. All right. So, yeah, they, they want to get back into your, your good graces, Aries. And they're sad to not be there with you. So give this person one shot to talk to you, to make it better, to make it right. Give this person this one chance to do that. All right. See if they can and see if they can be consistent. If you give them one more shot, let this be the last goddamn shot that you give this person. All right, Aries, because if you're in love with them, which you are, because when you leaving, this person is making you feel like this. All right. With the, uh, the six of swords making you feel like, man, look at this person on the boat. Just not not happy. They're being pulled by by uh, crows. Man, it's, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good because the crows, man, you see the crows, the crows feast on people who are no longer living. So, Aries, you walking away from this person is going to, like, make you feel really hurt and dead inside. That's why the death is here. That's why the death is here. So, you need to give this person one shot. To see if it can be a rebirth between y'all. Give it one shot. Don't just walk away like, you know, because sex is not everything. Although it's very important, Aries, but it's not everything. You need to uh, look and see if the relationship can last with this person. All right? Give it a chance. If you really want sex like that, then initiate sex like that. And see if this person will start doing that too. I, I just, That's all I can say, Aries. That's all I can say. Uh, Aries, if this resonated with you, hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages. If it didn't resonate, Aries, I got you on the flip side, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and get you next time I do your reading, alright? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, peace, love, and light, Aries. Hold up, baby.